Hello everybody, welcome back to Programminers. Last video we talked about animations and I showed you a cool ball animation. Today I'll be showing you a game which is called the Pong game. So let's start building this. So what the desired output should be here is that there should be a ball which is moving around in all directions. There should be a paddle that hits the ball in all directions. And there should be a red line which indicates the end of the game. So when the ball hits the paddle, it should go up and the score increases by 1 and if the ball hits the end line, then the game stops. So let's start building this. Let's first import the sprite, the ball which we used in the last, pro last video and let's import the backdrop, space and neon tunnel. So let's start coding this. So first we want to code the ball moving in all directions. For that, we first put an event as always saying when green flag clicked. And then we go to motion set of blocks and say point in direction 90. Let's change this 90 to 45. So basically what this piece of this block does is it always points the uh, ball into the 45 degree direction. So you don't need to worry about that. And let's start building the major part of the code here. Let's say forever. Move 15 steps. Let's change that to 15. And if on edge bounce. As you can see, when we tested it right here, it just went across the screen. So we put a if on edge bounce so that it bounces off the screen and it is easily seen by the viewers. So now it keeps moving in random directions. So that's what we wanted. And now let's add another sprite saying we can also search the sprite here. We want a paddle. Sorry. We want a paddle right there. So this paddle what it does is basically it hits the ball in different directions. So let's start coding the paddle. So we want the paddle to move along with the cursor. So for that, we can say, we put an event again as usual for the paddle, saying when green flag clicked, and then forever. Then we go to motion, and we have a block here saying, set x to minus 27. Let's change this minus 27 to mouse x. So basically what mouse x is, it always points in the direction in which the mouse is moving. So let's check this out now. If the paddle moves along with the ball, along with the cursor and the ball, it moves along with the cursor, yes. But we see here that the, when the ball hits the paddle, it doesn't go back up. It doesn't bounce. So for that, we create one more piece of code in the ball section and say again when green flag clicked as usual forever so we have when green flag clicked forever and then let's put an if statement saying if and in the sensing block we have if touching mouse pointer. Let's change this mouse pointer to paddle. So what we want to do is when the ball touches the paddle we want it to bounce back and move 15 steps or say 20 steps. We also want it to turn 180 degrees. As it, should, as it should change the direction of uh, moving. As we, if we don't change the direction, it moves down and doesn't go up. So let's say turn 180 degrees and so this turn 180 degrees can be found in the motion set of blocks. So we say turn 180 degrees, move 15 steps again. move 15 steps and wait for a couple of seconds. So let's say wait 0 0.5 seconds. 
and all this is in the if condition and the if condition is inside the forever block so don't get confused by that so let's change that to 0 0.5 seconds so let's check that out now there so once it hits the paddle it goes back up that's so cool but we haven't still made the red line the red line indicates the end of the game as i told again so let's import a sprite let's search for line there you see the red line let's move it to the bottom of the screen yeah so we moved it to the bottom of the screen and we now code for the red line so again we put an if statement saying sorry not an if statement an event statement saying when green flag clicked forever then if now if statement forever if touching ball then stop all so the stop all block is in the control section of blocks so basically what we want the, uh, this program to do is when the ball touches the red line we want everything to stop because when, when anything touches the red line it indicates the end of the game so let's check this out now. so it's working there and once we touch it to the red line the game stops so let's make it a little, little more fun and realistic. So let's put a score block, score variable. As I mentioned before, you can go to variable and create your own variable. So here, let's name it as score. And let's say in the ball section, in let's, let's click ball and look at the ball's code. And let's say change my variable by one. My variable isn't defined here, so let's say change score by one, as we have named our variable score. So here, what, what this means is, every time the ball touches the paddle, the score should increase by one. So that's what it means. So if touching paddle, then change score by one, turn 180 degrees, move 15 steps, and wait 0 0.5 seconds. So now let's check it out. So every time the ball touches the paddle, the score increases by one. There. So that's a really fun and cool game and it's so easy to understand. So let's review this again because it's quite lengthy the code. So let's start with the ball code. Here we say when green flag clicked, point in direction 45 degrees. So the ball turns in the ball, ball points in the direction 45 degrees and then forever it moves 15 steps and if it is on the edge it bounces. We have noticed a mistake here. Once we click the green flag again, the score continues from 5. And that's that we, we don't want the game to do that. So let's say in the ball code, let's say when green flag clicked, set score to 0. So every time we click the green flag, the score resets. So let's change this my variable to score as it, as it is defined. And let's try this again now. So it became zero there from six. So let me continue to explain the code again. So we learned about this now. Let's talk about this. So here when the green flag is clicked, forever, if, it is, if the ball is touching the paddle, then it changes the score by 1, turns 180 degrees and moves 15 steps and then waits for 0 0.5 seconds. And here as I told again, when the green flag is clicked, it has to reset the game and sets the score to 0. And let's move to the paddle code now. So here when the green flag is clicked, this is a simple code. When the green flag is clicked here, forever it should be according to the mouse. So wherever the mouse moves, uh, wherever the mouse moves vertically, the uh, paddle should move vertically as well. So that here, forever set x to mouse x. So this mouse x can be found in the sensing blocks, and set x to whatever can be found in motion blocks. So that's about the paddle code. 
let's talk about the line code now. See, this is also quite simple. So here, when the green flag is clicked, forever, if it is touching the block, it has to stop everything as it indicates the end of the game. So you can build on this if you want to. This is just a small animation. You can build on it um, if you want to. And I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Hope to see you again.